Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorio C Block and this is episode 76. Um, we're in a little bit of a different area, right? So we've set up a lot of the basic stuff, uh, the farming loop is going. Uh, project wise, uh, what what's going on is that we can uh, go and take a look at um, one of two things either we can extend this a little bit to make sure that we have plenty of this mineral sludge to feed all our crystallizers um, we might at some point want to upgrade to more efficient ways of converting this right so this middle step basically could be more efficient with uh, hydro refining in between um, it's gonna produce some random geodes and stuff. I think for now we're fine using this as our main loop and just scaling it up a little bit. And the other thing we want, so for the, the machines that we need for this part, and in general like we need some of the electronic circuits every now and then. And up until now I had just been hand crafting them by just grabbing some carbon and then uh, doing that. I think the carbon machine might actually... Oh no, so it is, there is still a carbon machine here. So we could use that if we if we wanted to. But if we look at it, basically what we want is... We, we can just use a boiler and, and then... Uh, make some carbon out of that. So I think we just want to bring the charcoal all the way up. Uh, make carbon locally. And once we have that, uh, we can uh, make the electronic components. So let's see. Yeah, we're gonna put that. Um, I guess we're gonna put it here then. And eh, that's kind of crappy. Can we do it in a better position? Uh, what about. We could do it here. Then we need so we need this to be like this, right? And then this also to be like uh, this. Yeah, the directions are good, right? Yeah. So oh wait, that's not so good. Um. So what we want to be doing is. Uh, go over here and yeah now we can run this along this line up here yeah that seems fine uh, we will need to craft a lot more though so let's get going on that I could probably grab some iron from here yeah. and then We'll, yeah, we'll need this. eye on that that's gonna cause some problems I guess we want to landfill this up a little bit to make sure that we can bridge the power yeah. there we go then this can just go up here and, yeah. and I guess we'll run it along yeah, let's let's run it here. That makes sense. Uh, we still need to craft more, though. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna need to build uh, a small pump to uh, uh, get the water, convert this into carbon, um, then. We have the tint copper wire, which we could get from here. 
uh, but it's gonna slow the science down a little bit more but that's fine we have the time mm. and then once we have that uh, we're gonna make some buildings to scale up production and make sure that we have have enough tin um, yeah yeah so I guess if we look at at the refining stuff then uh, let's see so the thing is that uh, these, like these sorting ones, have. Um, let's see. So this is a way to make the specific. I guess the 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 other ones are probably the secondary ones in that sense, right? So it's either two lead, two tin. So lead, tin, copper, iron are the, the main ones, and then the other ores are sort of the byproducts of those. Um, and we want to make sure that we can keep making all of them at some point. Like we're still at the phase where we're storing a lot of the byproducts just in random chests over here. So that's, that's actually uh, has been an issue in the past. Um, Uh, let's run it like this, so... Yeah, and then one more, I guess. Let's put a little landfill, like, down here. Yeah, so then we have... Uh, a way to, to get going. Uh, and let's get some more transport belts. Oh yeah, we had 117, actually. I thought we just had 17. We'll use it up quite quickly. Okay, so this is the one. Then we want to sneak through some of this tin ore. Uh, again, we'll need more underground belts. And yeah. That is gonna be a, an issue for a bit. That's that we don't actually have that much tin copper wire. But we're not, we're not gonna notice anything because of the, the the science like dropping out, right? It's not like we're waiting for something in particular. We're just actually looking to scale up production a little bit, and and then figure out where we're going from there. It might be solar, though. I'm not impressed with the yield. Like if I look at it windmills might just be better which is kind of awkward i guess solar panels are a lot more consistent but other than that i don't really get it like i, I mean so solar panels they they absolutely need accumulators to function whereas wind can function without accumulators but just has a lower well not a, l a lower or a, yeah lower floor right so it could be that you get a brownout due to windmills not functioning for a long time, so that's then kind of problematic. But other than that, I don't really see it. Uh, we do want to keep an eye on this as well. Like if, if the copper is not going well and we need some dedicated pro copper production, that might be something worthwhile to set up. Um, Uh, yeah, that should be okay. But let's see. Okay, so let's go grab the tin copper wire from here. Just sneak it through like this. Uh, I guess we'll just run it by here. It's not pretty, but it'll work. And I guess we could just put it on one belt down here, right? And yeah, if we if we take a we can take a little bit of space, put it down here, uh, craft an electronics assembly machine to build it in. And 
that should be... Uh, is that? Yeah, that's the right amount of space. So we can get the electronic components here. And then to get the boards, we also need the basic circuit board, right? Uh, yeah, and the solder. So, oh yeah, okay, so we're actually, we should grab some of these boards. There we go. Because we're now trying to craft them. Right, so now we should be able, yeah, we can cra just craft a machine like that. Okay, here we go. So, this is gonna build the electronic components for which we need. Oh, uh, that's not how this works at all. Uh, for one, we needed to connect this up, but for two, uh, we still need to turn the charcoal into carbon. So let's uh, do that first. And I guess I'm gonna use the charcoal as fuel as well. Like it would be better to use the pellets, but we have the charcoal here. I'm not gonna bother turning them into stuff. It's it's just a little bit too much of a hassle. Um, yeah. So offshore pump. And uh, do we have a boiler ready? I don't think so. Oh, that's okay. That's the boiler. So I think we just want a normal boiler here. And yeah, we're just gonna place the pump. And that will get us the water. Let's see, we could run it like this. So we can do this. Um, put a boiler, I guess, in here. Uh, have one, yeah, so pipe and then a, yeah, an assembly machine, or no, a chemical plant, right? That's what we need for this. Um, yeah, can we build one? We can, that's good. And then what we'll do is uh, place that down once we have it, yeah. So now we want, I guess if we have the steam like this, we can underground pipe it. So it should be one out further. Uh, so we have the chemical plant over here, which is gonna make carbon. Uh, so this will need to be split. We'll run one stream over here and one stream over here and then that will need inserters and we'll place some power poles for that so that will get us the carbon and that we can use with the tint copper wire So we're gonna place some more landfill here, like this, and the tint copper wire. Yeah, it's not a lot, but uh, it's it should be enough to get a nice backlog of of circuits when we need to. Okay, here we go. So and we're just gonna run them like this. Okay, and now we need the electronics assembly machine. Uh, let's craft some more of those inserters. So, I'm really like, this is more of a convenience project, um, but we'll, we'll probably need the electronic circuits for something at some point. So we might as well automate them. Uh, the scale at which we do it is kind of limited at the moment. Um, we're gonna need to bring up the solder as well. And yeah, and, and basically what you're seeing is that what what's gonna happen at some point is that this, this is gonna be bottlenecks and we're gonna run some stuff through here. 
but that's fine. Like we can scale this up enough. Uh, at oh, well, wait, this oh, it's actually copper that's the bottleneck now. That's gonna be interesting. I did not expect that. Yeah. Okay. I'll be damned. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> What's now going to be the tricky part is that we actually want to divert, like we would want some of this not to be uh, sapphirite but to be stereotypes, right? To balance this out. Uh, so we're going to look at that in a bit, but we need a way to, so we would like to have the buffer, but we would also like to... Um, to be able to say, hey, we're short on copper, go make that and worry about the iron later. That would be the way to go if we could do that. And and we definitely can, but we need to set up the machinery to do it if we want to. Okay, but that's interesting. That's good to, to sort of observe that the copper is the issue right now. Um, but yeah, in the end, like this is just gonna backlog fairly quickly. We can bring up the solder. We might want to merge it with some circuits or something. And uh, maybe not. We can just like bring it up here, and we'll be happy with it. Yeah, I guess. Do we wanna? Yeah, I guess we wanna run it through here and then along here. That's that's the most fruitful way. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, yeah, and we want, we want this backlog to stay. Yeah, this is actually filled up, which is nice. Copper is running probably more or less continuously. Maybe not. No, it's no, it's definitely not running continuously. Like the iron is not even running continuously. Um, but we we wanna figure that out somehow. What we could do, I guess, is have a part that makes copper. And just feeds it like directly onto this belt, which would mean that, or uh, so from onto this belt from this half, which means that if it would like it would just backlog if the copper would backlog, which would be fine, and then the, the iron from that would also like it would be used, but the machines would backlog, and then those get priority but then the trick is that we want some of them to be behind overflow valves and then some of them not to be so really the the proper way to do it involves circuitry uh, which would be interesting and we might set that up but for now like in general we're just we have so much uh, usage going or rather so little production going on that that I don't really mind just building up some backlogs of some other stuff uh, but uh, yeah so it, like even the iron is being used uh, pretty well so yeah it's just a balance that that being off that could be problematic at some point um, but we don't we don't really mind that. So let's just bring up the solder, and we will need some more belt to do that. Yeah, there we go. And once we have the solder up, I think we have everything up there that we need to um, to actually automate circuits, or rather the next level circuits. Uh, let's take some extra space here to run through another one if we need it uh, yeah okay why well, we don't have enough stone okay that's I guess not unexpected but it let's uh, switch off the output priority here 
and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, that that will give us a little bit more stone. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll be able to grab some and craft some of these underground belts. And actually, if we have some crushed stone somewhere, we could do so. But I guess we're turning. In other places, we're all turning it into landfill. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we yeah we could scale this up to get a little bit more. But I think like the the end goal is actually not not to scale this up, but to have uh, the crystallized variants produce a little more, which will scale this down automatically uh, that's that's probably where we want to be okay, we have a, a little bit more stone and I am gonna oh this is limited to one stack but the problem is that one stack of landfill is still 1k um, but yeah we'll deal with it um, yeah we'll have some more underground belt now that's uh, excellent So we can, uh, oh, we actually have a lot of underground belt now. I mean, we'll use it quite quickly in these sneaking belts through operations, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's the price we pay. Um, yeah, we do need to put an inserter for this at the beginning. Yeah, in fact, we need even more transport belt. Let's go grab some more iron. Yeah, we're using that quite heavily. I think it makes sense that we switched over to iron pipes for a bit. I mean, just using the pipes to to balance out how much you're using of something is it's not sustainable in the way that it doesn't represent uh, continuous use. Uh, like if you're just crafting the pipes out of the material that um, that you currently have a lot of, it doesn't work in the sense that um, you're not gonna suddenly take the the use of of your machines and the continuous processes that produce science is pretty much always gonna outweigh what you craft by hand sort of by definition um, but you can't always like the the at at the moment the scale we're doing that at is just low enough that we can get away with doing that it's not great but it's it yeah it it works out um, what we wanna be doing is really to have more of the the angels or sorting stuff to to really truly balance it out yeah so i'm gonna put an inserter at the beginning to make sure that we actually can get solder on this because that is kind of important yeah there we go so what's that gonna do that's gonna get us more of this so yeah these are actually they're not as backlogged as they look um, so the fact that we're gonna run a ton of sol uh, solder out on here is is gonna matter i guess we'll take this away yeah and then we have a lot in our inventory so we could put some of it in the machines already um yep so we have the we have the components here, we're gonna get the solder added to that and then we want to get these boards out here. So what we can do here is change some of that under... We do need some more stone though in order to do that. Let's go grab that. Um yeah, so actually 
this is gonna maybe we should limit can we so it makes sense i think to limit it like this right so to make sure that the, the stone really gets priority and it's not gonna eat so much of this belt like if we look at how much we're getting here it's still fine and um, the fact that we're taking away half of the tint copper wire to make circuits is actually a big deal that that slows down science by a lot uh, but it's not a big deal in the sense that we don't really care that that happens, right? Uh, we care in the sense that it's slowing our progress, but... Ooh, we do care that I didn't put these back down, so let's do that over here. Let's see. Uh, yeah. That's just free energy that we're not getting. Uh, let's put one more here that needs an extra pull then yeah that's fine okay so we brought the solder up here yeah we came here for stone which we got so we can craft more underground belt and more above ground belt and then we bring over the the boards and then the final thing is gonna be to put them all together into the Top level boards. Uh, I guess we need some landfill for that. Oh yeah, we still do have the radar up here. I was wondering about that earlier. Um, yeah, I guess we we'd need to put it further out if we want to get more scanned or something. I removed the one over here, I guess. Um, Oh yeah, but we we do have some fish in uh, in what's going on over there. Yeah, so let's just uh, finish this up. Okay, let's go. We'll run this along here. And we'll put down, I guess, an electronics assembly machine should be fine. That's probably better, right? Um, uh, we'll need to fill this in, probably. It might not matter, but... Yeah, so we're making these. Uh, which needs this and this. Uh, let can pick up from over there. And then we'll drop those on a belt. And I guess we're gonna put these in a chest for now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, and let's limit that to one stack. Um, yeah. Okay, well. So we could be making the green circuits out of that, but that crafting step is just, it's very fast and like we're carrying iron plates anyway. So what I want to be doing is picking up these and then using those to craft, uh, craft the stuff that we need. I'm going to cut this episode here. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.